G'day there. Would you believe I'm doing something completely different tonight? Well, I'm not. I'm back out on the foxes again. There's no shortage of them with an estimated 2 million foxes in Australia. No wonder the farmers are having such a drama with them. I'm back down in southern New South Wales for three nights this week. I have nine properties to service over the next few nights. They're all lambing at the moment. It's going to be freezing cold. So time to rug up. I'm going to wait for it to get dark. Get stuck into property number one and see how we go. Got the spider bot venom on the roof and the brand new Condor CQ50 from Hick Micro. It has a five gigahertz Wi-Fi channel. So the stability of that Wi-Fi should be fantastic. Seiko 223 that I usually run on the Foxes with the Hick Micro Panther. PQ50L sitting on top of it. The foxes have been in and around this paddock here. This is where he's been having most of the drama. Gives me a, a pretty good perspective to be able to overlook everything. I'll sit in the car with the thermal. Keeps my scent out of the air a little bit. Just watch everything transpire on the roof mount. As soon as I see a fox, I'll either jump out and take a shot from here, or if I have to, jump the fence and close the distance. Well, here comes the first one for the night. It's nearly dark now, as you can see. And he's just starting to make his way in, just to the right of that cursor. So I think I'll go and jump the fence and see if I can get a bead on him. Good eye. He came straight in quick on that mob of ewes. As soon as they get a sniff of lambs being born, they're into it. And this male fox, yep, is now done and dusted. So we'll pick him up, carry him out of the paddock, and get ready and start looking for number two. We got another one. Got a couple of years there with a newborn lamb. And he is definitely on the prowl. Time to get on the move again. And see if we can cut him off. That'll do you, pal. Oi! Off to a fantastic start. Three down in a matter of minutes. This is fox number two. He was a bit of a runner. Shot was a little bit low, right in the vitals. He only made it about 40 metres before he ran out of blood. Hence the red mode. Um, it's a little bit messy. I didn't get the chance to put the rifle on target tonight. I wish I had it because it is shooting a little bit low. Fox number three was pretty much the same thing. Hit in the vitals, ran a little bit before he pulled up and I just quickly put another shot into him. Finished him off. I have made an adjustment on the scope, so Hopefully the rest of the foxes tonight will be bang flop. Number three, very healthy fox. Another vixen. Second shot was a good one. Popeye. And yeah, you can see the blood there. So that's from the first shot. And yeah, three down. Let's go and see if we can get a few more. I've spent about four hours on the, this first property and managed three foxes fairly quickly to start with and then things quieten right down. Got another fox about an hour ago, haven't seen anything in the last hour so time to move on. We'll head over to the second property now and see what's lurking around there. Silly bastard. It certainly doesn't work out very well for the fox when he does something stupid like that. Pretty much stopped about 30 metres to the side of the vehicle in the paddock and looked at me. Hence the reason I can't show you his face. Three hundred and 
85 meters. <laughs> That'll do. Just gone 4.30 in the morning and I'm going to call it quits. Managed 10 foxes tonight, so pretty happy with that result. I'll um, go and get a bit of sleep and uh, do it all again tomorrow. After a good sleep and a big breakfast, I'm raring to go for night two. I've made the half an hour drive out to where I'm shooting tonight and um, three properties side by side. They're all lambing. Over the last couple of months, I've shot over 200 foxes in this area and hopefully we'll be adding to that tally tonight. Woohoo, finally on the board. About an hour in, it's been very slow so far, I haven't seen anything. Came around the corner and this fox took off across the paddock. He stopped, turned around, stuck his head up, and that's all I needed. Good old Popeye. What have we got? Male. Excellent. Just going to get a few more. G'day! Stop you bastard. How good is it to have that sort of confidence in your gear? That little adjustment yesterday afternoon to the scope and it has been shooting like a laser. The Seiko just never lets me down. Let's go and check out this last fox. This fox was already running away when I spotted it. I ranged the hill where it was going to run to and um, just let the ballistics do its job. Held over, yelled out at the fox and it stopped. The Vixen set around its way and it dropped on the spot. Where do we get you? All right, up near the head. You can't really ask for much more than that. Bloody awesome. Another foxy plane doggo. Not anymore. I don't know what this fox was doing. Laying down having a little sleep. How's your head Fred? What a big head it is. <laughs> Be hard to miss that as a target. The male. What a beautiful coat on him. It is such a shame that they're not worth anything in Australia anymore. 2 a.m. and I'm getting a little bit peckish. One of my regular property owners down here always supplies me with a little treat. So tonight we have a Snickers. And what else have we got in here? Freckles. They're the bloody biggest freckles I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. 
Oi! What have we got? Another boy to 12 for the night. A little bit better than last night. But I have a feeling everything is going to get cut short because that fog is rolling in. Huge difference between what you can see with the headlights and what you can see with thermal. Chalk and cheese, isn't it? Well, that's a bit of a pisser. The fog has just been getting thicker and thicker over the last hour. And it's at the stage now where I just can't safely drive around the paddocks. So, call it an early night. It's just gone 3am. I was hoping to shoot till about 5. Last night, tomorrow night. So hopefully the fog stays away and we can get a full night shooting in. Back out on yet another property for the third and final night of the trip. Lots of cloud cover tonight, so that should keep the fog away. I've done a little bit of a recce and I found a really good spot to set up. I'll show you why. It's a likely spot for the foxes. There's evidence right there of the carnage that they're causing. 350 ewes just down in front of me. And it's a really good vantage point. I can see the whole paddock. So this is where I'm going to sit and wait for Mr. Fox. Oi! I was starting to think it wasn't going to happen. An hour and a half watching these ewes and finally the fox made an appearance. It's a female. She snuck into the paddock behind me and I managed to take care of business there. Bye bye pussy. Time to start up the hate machine. I can see the writing on the wall now. All the bloody whingers complaining that I've just shot someone's cat. This cat is a feral animal. It's not someone's pet. I've been given strict instructions by the property owner to shoot every cat on site. They do not have any cats on this property that belong to them. And we are miles from the neighbor's place. This one is a female, so she won't be breeding anymore. They're responsible for killing millions of native animals in Australia every year. They are a scourge on our environment and they all need to go. A very common sign on the properties that I shoot on down here, an ongoing baiting program combined with ground shooting is generally the best way to control the fox numbers. As much as it's nice to be able to leave them a big pile of foxes in the morning when I've spent a night shooting on their property, it's also great to be able to let them know that there weren't many foxes around and that their control measures are working. That was chunky. Well, it is pretty obvious what she was up to. Any wonder she was trying to flee the scene. You won't be doing that again, will you, miss? It's just after five o'clock in the morning, so I'm gonna pack things up and go to bed. I ended up with a total of 32 foxes for this trip and one feral cat. Certainly the highlight of the night for me. I love shooting those things. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.